Geometry Unit 14, Section 8. Equations of tangents to a circle. So you need to remember a property about a tangent, that when a tangent hits a circle, it is perpendicular to the radius that also meets that same point. And that's what this is saying. A, a line is tangent to a circle at a given point if it is perpendicular to the radius drawn from the center to that point. So always remember, a tangent and a radius uh, is perpendicular. They are perpendicular. So, you know, we're talking about the equations of tangents to circles today, but that's the big concept, is that they're always going to be perpendicular to a circle's radius at that location. So, given the circle O drawn here, and points A and B are on the circle, find the equations of the tangent lines to circle O at the points of tangent C, A, and B. Now, that's what we would call this, a point where a tangent hits a circle, we could call it a point of tangency. Um, you know, we're finding the equation of tangent lines, so those are lines, so they have, you know, linear equations. Uh, remember, for the equation of a line, equation of a line, uh, there is a, you know, y equals mx plus b, of course, um, because lines have two, two things, they have slope and, and location. Um, but the way that we like to get the equation of a line is through the point slope formula, which is y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. And this is one of the few formulas that's not given to you on your reference sheet. So this is probably one of the more important ones to remember. You will definitely need to use this. Now, why do we use this and not just y equals mx plus b? Because y equals mx plus b requires the slope, just as this does, but it requires the y-intercept. That's what b is. and uh, what, what if we don't have the y-intercept? What if we have just any random point on the line? That's what this does for us. Uh, we, we do need the slope of the line, but we could use any point on the line. And when we plug this in, we get the answer. Versus here, sometimes you like plug in a point to find b and then go back. So, so this is a much better formula to use, but the, the ability to use any point really makes this the, the better formula to use. And then we can always rewrite our answer to be in y equals mx plus b form, uh, which I'll show you. But So to find the equation of the line, a tangent line, we need to know a point on the line and a slope. We need to know location and slope. You know, um, So what do we know? Well, we know, uh, let's do them one at a time. First, at, at a, we know it's at point a. So we have the point, and point a is negative 1, 3. So point A is negative 1, 3, and point B is, looks like, 3, 1. So we have the points. We just now need the slope of these tangent lines. Well, the key here is, again, that it's going to be perpendicular to the radius at that point. So the radius to A and B, draw a little radius in here, um, radius OA is that. And I wanted to use a different color. I don't know why that didn't stay. Let's use this one. Uh, so radius OA is that, and radius OB is that. And of course, they together make a diameter in this case. But the slope of these, the slope of OA and the slope of OB is negative 1 over 2. And I could do slope formula here. You know, my center is 1, 2, and I have my point, so I could do slope. But I could just see on my graph that the slope of this line, the slope here is... It's certainly a negative, it's a decline, and it's going down 1 over 2. So that's negative 1 over 2. And it's the same thing for OB. So if that's, a, that's the, uh, the slope of the radius, the slope of the radius is negative 1 over 2. That means the slope of the tangent must be perpendicular to that. So that'll be positive 2 over 1. Because uh, remember, perpendicular slopes are negative reciprocals or opposite sign reciprocals. And that's really why this is so important here. Because if I have the slope of the radius, that means I can figure out a perpendicular slope for the tangent at that given location. So at point A is negative 3, 1. That's where the tangent is. And the tangent slope we just determined is 2. And, and at point B is at 3, 1. And its tangent slope is also always going to be the same here, too. So now we just got to plug this into our point slope formula. That's y minus the y value equals the slope, parentheses, x minus the x value. Now, minusing a negative 1 is really 
uh, going to turn into a plus 1. Uh, this is 2x plus 2 when distributed, and then adding that 3 over, we'll get y equals 2x plus 5. And then same thing over here, y minus 1 equals 2 parentheses x minus 3. This is 2x minus 6, and adding 1, we get y equals 2x minus 5. So these are it, 2x plus 5, 2x minus 5. And you can kind of see that here, uh, this line has a, a slope of up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and that's hitting at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for a y-intercept. And this other one is uh, also having a slope of, of 2 over 1. Draw that a little bit better here. Um, it's going, you know, up 2 over 1, up 2, up 2 over 1, positive slope, and it's hitting at negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So it's a y-intercept of negative 5. So, so that's it, and that's really the core of what it is we're doing. I'm going to show, do this problem a couple of different ways. But the major concept is that a tangent is perpendicular to a radius at a given point. So if we could figure out our radius slope, we could figure out our tangent slope. And if you have the slope of a line and a point on the line, then you can use our point-slope formula to get the equation of the line. All right, here given in uh, our second example, circle A, uh, find the equations of the tangent line to circle A with slopes of negative 1 over 2. So what I did in this first example was I started off by giving you points on the tangent. You know, um, again, we need a point and a slope. So for this first example, I gave you the points. We figured out the slope because it was perpendicular. Here I'm telling you the slope of the tangents. The slope of the tangents is negative 1 over 2. But I'm not telling you a point on those. But again, if the slope of the tangent is negative 1 over 2, then the perpendicular slope of the radii must be positive 2 over 1. So if I know the slope of the radii from my center point, the slope of the radii must be up 2 over 1 and down 2 over 1 the other way. Of course, I could do this algebraically if I have the center coordinate. Let's see, that would be negative 3, 3 is the center, negative 3, 3. Well, if my slope is 2 over 1, that means my y value is changing by 2, my x value is changing by 1. That gives me the point negative 2, 5. That's what this one is right here, negative 2, 5. And I could also take my center coordinate and do my slope the other way. So instead of up 2 over 1, I could go down 2 over 1, which is the same thing as minus 2 over or negative 2 over negative 1. So we know a double negative is the same as a double positive. And we saw this similar to when we you know, rotated a point around a point. Um, so this time let's minus, minus, and this will get us uh, negative 4, 1. And that's what this other point over here is. So if you, if you know the slope of the tangent, you can do perpendicular to get the slope of the radius. Just as, just as if we know the slope of the radius, we can do perpendicular to get the slope of the tangent. So now, again, we have what we need. We, we know the slope of the tangent, and we know the location of the tangents. Um, so again, we'll do a quick little point-slope formula with that slope and these points. So that would be y minus 5 equals negative 1 half x plus 2. That's negative 1 half x. We distribute here. We get minus 1, and then add a 5 over. That's going to give us y equals negative 1 half x um, plus 4. And uh, if, we, if we graph that line over here, so plus 4. Um, hold on. That's negative 1. And add 5 is, uh, yeah, plus 4. So from plus 4, a slope of negative 1 half is going to give me right there. Okay, and then uh, the other one was y minus 1, using this point now, equals the slope of the tangent x minus the x value is x plus 4. That's negative half x minus 2. Add 1 over y equals negative half x minus 1. And from negative 1, a negative half slope is right there. Okay, one more quick example. Uh, this time, no picture. So consider the circle equation here. And the two lines tangent to this circle have these slopes. Find where they, find the coordinates of the points of tangency. So kind of what we just did, but without a picture. Um, so again, we're, we're given the slope of the tangent is negative 1 over 3. 
that means the slope of the radii is going to be positive 3 over 1, perpendicular to negative 1 over 3. And what I know about this circle is I know its center. We're looking at the equation, this x minus 2 tells me it's positive 2, comma, just a y squared means 0. So from 2, 0, the radii slope is 3 over 1. But I'm going to have to do this in both directions. So I'm also going to go negative 3 over negative 1 to the point 2, 0. So 2, 0 and 2, 0. Oh, that's a little sloppy. Let me rewrite that one. From that center coordinate, if we go up 3 over 1, and remember the top is always the y, the bottom is the x. A lot of times people mess that up. They put that 3 in the x box. So up 3 over 1 gets me the point 3, 3. And if I were to go, say, down 3 and left 1, the opposite direction, this would give me the point 1, negative 3. And these are the answers. Um, of course, you're going to always have that piece of scrap graph paper in the back of a reasons exam where you could, you know, draw this circle or at least the center part of it, you know, think about a slope of a tangent and, and kind of figure it out from there. Um, so we could get the equation of the tangent now that we know its slope and, and points that it goes through using the point-slope formula, but they just wanted the points of tangency here, so that's where we'll stop. Uh, so that's it. The key is always remembering that if you know the slope of the tangent, you can do perpendicular for the slope of the radius. And if you know the slope of the radius, you can do perpendicular for the slope of the tangent. And from that center, you can determine you know, those, those points of tangency from that slope of the radius. And if you know the slope and you know a point, you can do the point-slope formula to get the equation. All right? So that's uh, equations of tangents to a circle. See ya.